table. Help me. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. Welcome back, everybody, to some more of the quarry. So we're finally on chapter 10, which is the last chapter of the game. Uh, we were playing as Caitlyn. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel a lot. And if they don't like water, then how did they get attacked at the junkyard? At the scrapyard? It is raining. If they don't like... Maybe it's just like an accumulation of water because it seems like droplets don't hurt them or do anything to them. Which is confusing. They don't like water. It's raining, but we got attacked by one out in the... Okay. What the heck is this? What's the little bear? Or... Funny. A little wing on it that's cute oh i think that's abby's there's nothing else in her backpack i guess that you wanted to rummage through caitlin very rude like what's down here but did we run out of card I'm assuming we're not going to see the old lady no more. Man, with the light, the way they hit it, those look like cloth. That looks like cloth. They don't look like doors. Which is very strange. Our goal is to probably go up to Chris's office because that's where we'll meet Abby and Emma because they went up the they went up the ladder. Well, at least Abby did. But if we're doing process of elimination, oh look, they cleared these stairs for us. Nice. No, they didn't. Never mind. If we are doing process of e elimination, Emma should have went up the stairs too. Doesn't look like there's much here. Is that Chris and Chris's wife? And then I'm assuming Caleb. Was Caleb the older was Caleb the older one? Dog tag. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier. When you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Mm -hmm. 
say Bobby or does it say Silas? Oh yeah, it says Bobby. I gave Bobby in three four nine eight one zero two four a p o s. Okay, no, oh, that's mean. Or Bobby, the boobs master. Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Chapter 10. Chris Hackett is asking campers' parents for additional donations to help with lodge renovation costs. Isn't that what camp fees are for? Where else would that money be going? Um, 5000 to a new electric fence that they just bought, possibly? But also, even with that much money spent, it doesn't look like they need... I would be mad. Dear parents and guardians, when my when my mother and father founded Hackett Scory Summer Camp in 1953, their vision was to create a space where children from across the nation could experience the true wonders of nature, and I am proud to continue their legacy to this day. The camp's lodge has stood proud since we first opened our gates. This legacy, and indeed the lodge itself, is now at risk. Having sought advice from a structural engineer, it appears crucial repair work is required on the masonry of the chimney column. Don't worry, your children are not in danger, but I must inform you that as of next year, we will be increasing camp fees by 5% per attendee. When times get tough, I am reminded of our camp motto, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. With this in mind, I hope that together we can make Hackett's Quarry stronger than ever. Thank you for your continued patronage. Yours with gratitude, Chris Hackett. Hmm. Some kid was like, I don't want to come here anymore anyway. So I'm just not even going to show this to my parents. Why would you need an explanation anyway? Just raised fees like everybody else does. Whether legitimate or not. There's nothing up here. Ooh, the high priestess. The Empress. The high priestess, Eliza, was killed in the fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's Quarry ever since, and she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards, once lost in the blaze, have followed her to guide you through the night, though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. Interesting. What was that? So Eliza is the hag in the woods and she's trying to protect her boy Silas, which understandable. She wants just she just wants to save her boy. It's so sad. How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place on the largest chimney column. Sept Septimus. Septimus. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. Oh, there's nothing in here. I guess we'll then we will plan for attack. Not seeing anything. Is upstairs is upstairs gonna take us the same? Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Oh, poor doodle. 
or like a whiteboard. A memorial to the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody got to meet him this year. Hindsight. Sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Uh, we hardly knew. We hardly knew ye. We know Ian is Silas, which is the dog they're trying to kill. How is that your camp mascot? Prepare for attack. I don't think there's anything else. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Stroud and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? <sighs> Showtime, motherfuckers. Is going on out Yo there. time. Should we go find the others? No, we're safer in here and it's nearly morning. I mean, what are you gonna do? What the? Be in the way? <laughs> I'm assuming that's Caleb. Or is that Nick? Did Caleb bite Nick or did Chris bite Nick? Um, we have a gun. Let's wait. I mean, it's gonna chase us down either way. I assume. Shoot, Caitlin! Shoot! No, that should have been a headshot. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can oh, do. Yeah, but what? I was about to say, he literally tore through a chimney. You think so a just... tiny little door is gonna stop him? If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. Beam. They want us to pass through so they can give us the silver cell so we can kill. Come on. Come on. Whatever this is.
Run! Caitlin! This way! Oh yeah, Dylan. I forgot about Dylan. He was there with us. We're investigating. It's silver. Hey, hey, I'm here. We got one shot. Shot. I demand a do over. done me dirty. I shot. Oh well. Inquisitive. What exactly what what exactly happened six years ago? How did you do it? Accusatory. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf who for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. If the past didn't now matter... son of a bitch is finally here. Then why so are what you... what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. Trying to kill him still. Past doesn't matter. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? I think he found us. Grab gun. Throw the emergency for you. can't reach the gun. Forget that. Just get it out. Take cover. Grab gun. Wake up. How about you get out of your seat? Go in the back there with Ryan and grab the gun. Crazy? 
Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. I would hope so. You ran the thing over. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? No, we're not gonna shoot you in the head, Travis. We need you. Give the gun back to the cop. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. This isn't the end. Determined. Let's fucking do this. Go team. It all makes sense now. You've got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't. I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. If anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. This is yours. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll be fine. I got this. <sighs> Ugh. Pungent. Rather stinky than dead. I mean, not. De I'm, I'll sure. I'm sure you'll be fine. Ryan, I appreciate your sacrifice. Well, thank you, Ryan. This has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I th think. You think? Who was she? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. That's awful. Died in the fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? How did the fire start, Travis? I'm curious. You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. 
What does she do? You just wanted to help him. Travis. And she killed her grandfather in the process. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Like the, that's why you've been hunting him. We could just kill Caleb. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Dang, Laura, can you, like, chill it out? This, this is all that's left. They're hunting Jesus Silas Christ. as you were hunting Chris to save Max. Yeah. They're trying to save their family as you were trying to save the man you love. So. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. agree with Travis. Are you sure about this? Shoot. boy will be with you please let's just let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form it's too late for that Oh, yes, you are. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you oh, think you're, you're mad. fucking clever. Oh, you hate me. I tried me. to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Then you started to be mean to me. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop. 
stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Unfortunate. Oh, I could hide beneath the wings of the bluebird. The day she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring. So the neck should be fine, Caleb. Mm, Kaylee, Chris are dead. Max is dead. Body Hackett deceased. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor Ryan shot him with silver. Laura shot Constance's face off in a struggle for the gun. Jebediah was choked to death by a vengeful Laura. Jacob was killed by werewolf Nick after Ryan eventually abandoned him in the Hackett's basement. Chris, daughter Kaylee, was shot and killed by Laura who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Nick survived the night and when Laura killed Silas, Nick's werewolf curse was lifted. Max swam back to the mainland where a hungry Caleb was waiting for him. Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Emma survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from Caleb in the kitchen. Caitlin was killed by Caitlin when she failed to shoot him. I did shoot him! Caleb returned to his human form permanently when Silas was killed. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that ha haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured by of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. Laura killed Silas, the dog boy, in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anthony? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several. Several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some 
developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh god, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really, really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you What are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras, photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found? I would think maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root. Um, being jostled. Uh... In uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of 
forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. So, I don't think that's going to be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm... Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now to me, empty implies that it was once full. Samesies. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Actually, you might be a little freaked out at this. Ugh. Is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow, you're right. That is 
underwhelming. But I'm kind of interested because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate prank. True. But if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point, I guess. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you your... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct soundbite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we got to send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Unidentified animals loose in North Kill Forest. New evidence in the Hackett's Quarry mystery shows that events may have been triggered by the appearance of dangerous unidentified animals in the forest. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be it for the Quarry. We ended it. So, I mean, we didn't get everyone lives. We didn't get everyone dies. We were able to save a few people. I'm still mad that Caitlyn died because... I know, you guys know, hey, we all know that I shot the gun. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel a lot. If you can support, please go check out my Patreon. It would be so much appreciative as well. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And as always, for the next game, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. What I found Turns out